Hello YouTube, my name is Flanker and today I've been, well not, I'm just going to make this video because I've been asked by a lot of people how to get textures like this into Daisy through Blender when most people just do it through Photoshop. I've been doing it through Nodes so the textures are a lot more advanced, a lot more detail and stuff into it and you can just do really cool stuff inside of here. So I'm going to show you, once, obviously if you're in Blender and you never used it before, there will be another video of me showing you how to apply textures like this in Blender. But if you've already, already got to this point in Blender, continue watching this video. If not, subscribe, but watch this anyway. Try and take some information in. So, this is the gun. This is the SRS, broken down by Fizzy. So, thank you Fizzy for this model. Let me, let me, um, he let me do this basically. So, anyway, let's get this texture rendered out. So, you've seen color textures before. Let me, um... I'm going to start with this part of the gun because we're going to start with completely new images. So these are my nodes. This is the output. Let's create some images in here first. So in your node editor, I'm assuming you're already know how to do this. You hit Shift and A, and then you can come up with this little search thing here. Search and search for image texture. And add this. I'm going to copy this and paste it because we need three. We need one for the smitty, one for the normal, and one for the color. So we've got three images in here. Well, we haven't actually got the images, we've just got the nodes from. So click new. In here, you want to do, let's call this one SRS uh, underscore funny and underscore CO. CO is what just defines it as a color image. And we don't want it 1K, we want this 4K. So there's a little trick here as well. If, instead of editing these one by one, if you hover over this one, click, hold click, and drag down to the second one. You can get them both at the same time. So I'll just times these by four. Uncheck alpha because you want this to be a solid image. And click OK. So on this right hand side, if we open this image up here now, it should just be a blank black image. SRS Co. There we go. So here's this image. Now to get this rendered out, we literally just need to render the diffuse, which to do so, we we probably could use BSDF, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use another another node called the Diffuse node. Well, Diffuse B BDSF or BSDF. I don't even know what that means. If you know what that means, let me know in the comments section because I'd rather call it by what it's actually called and I actually understand what this is. So for this one, we need the Diffuse BSDF. Put this in here. So we want the color first. On my node, I've got colors come from here. So basically, instead of going to base color on here, you want to go to color on this one and then output this one to surface. So now as you can see, the only thing we're rendering on, on this image right now is the diffuse layer. So we make sure we have our color image selected. And in in this, um, what's this one called? In render properties, you'll probably be on EV. You want to change this to cycles. And if you want to speed the process up, change this render one, because this, this is on like 256 or something like this. I changed it to 16 just so it renders a lot quicker for me because my computer's dog shit. You might not, might not even need to change this. You want to scroll down anyway and you should see this bake tab. So you want to go into here. By default, this will be on combined. You don't want it on combined, you want it on to diffuse. And these two will be checked by default. Uncheck them. You only want color selected. You want this on image. Clear the image. And this will be on 16, this margin size. So you, you expand the margin, change this to two, just so you don't get any overlapping images. So then once you've got all this selected, well, all this settings, make sure you 100% have this image selected on here so you can bake it to this image. So then you click bake and I shall be back with you. So I fast forwarded this, we'll talk more about it. So the image is just finished rendering. This is now our color image. 100% make sure you save this. So save as. Uh, we want to make a new folder. I already got, already got the honeycomb one, but we'll just call this tutorial for now. This is just where I've got all my textures. You don't, not tutorial. Yeah, you don't need to copy this um, same folder layout. You just put it obviously how you organize your folders. Don't copy me, because it's messy. So I want to extract, I want to save this um, color image. That's saved, that's done. Let's move on to the normal texture now. So in this second one down, or just you could just close this and open a new one in there but I'm gonna I'll do it tidily like this for me so same again what did I, what did I call this one SRS honey on it honey 
I don't know why it's all capitals either. So this is a no HQ image or your normals H high quality. <laughs> so this is selected now. Blank image over here, that's perfect. We need to get the normal bake. Well, basically whatever goes into your normal here, ignore this for, for a minute. Uh, whatever goes into your normal, you need this to go into your color base on here. I'm gonna just grab it straight from here because I don't need, I don't need this one, I don't believe. So there's your normal texture. It's perfect. So again, make sure your image is selected and you, your diffuser is selected on here and then bake. Look at that. So there you go, there's your normal textures. Perfect, so stay this one. Save as. No HQ, that's perfect. The Smitty, right, here we go, the Smitty. This is the one that puzzled me for a while. This is what my friends needed me to explain. So I'm gonna try and go into a lot more detail. And I have, luckily got a post here bookmarked from this guy, this is what taught me this. It's on Bohemia forums. I want to go to the actual the post that helped me the best. This one by Eric J, second lieutenant. He's got a rank somehow. On it. Anyway, so here he explains what the smitty part is. So the red channel on a smitty needs to be 100% white. So let's create an image first that's going to be 100% white on the red channel. So basically, it's just a red image. So let's get that. Let's get that one made real quick. So here's the image texture, new, and the color on the RGB want 100% red. Okay, so this one is going to be the SRS underscore honey us, honey underscore smid s smid smidi smidi yeah that one and then okay so now we open this image on here it should be 100% red that that's good we've got to start there so in the green channel is the metallic channel so I've got into my metallic channel. I have coming from my from my texture. So to start off, with, we're going to create a a color combiner like this. So to get one of these in here, you need to search for combine color, like so. So again, 100% red. That's we need that to be 100% red. So what did he say? It was the metallic, was the green channel, and the whiter the image, the more chrome it is. So let's just preview what this chrome texture looks like. So I'm going to go from my chrome bake, which is metallic bake, sorry. Put this into my color and see if, yeah, the, the shiny parts are the metal parts, which is perfect. So I don't need to invert this one. This one can go from the metallic straight into the green. Yep, that's right. So then what was the other one? The blue channel is the gloss. So again, the whiter it is, the brighter the shiny parts are. So let's again preview my metallic one. Uh, my roughness, sorry, roughness, that's what it is. So roughness into my color and see what this looks like. It should look very similar. So the white parts are the shiny parts, the black bits are the non-shiny parts. I want it the other way around because these black parts are the gold. So this is where I use the invert node. So Ignore the messy parts, press shift A again and type in invert on here. Invert, drag it in between there just to make sure it does it the right way around. So the gun's shiny all over, but these parts here are the shiny parts, which is the gold. It's perfect. So I know this works, this needs to go into your blue channel now. So basically we've inverted the roughness to work with the daisy engine. So roughness into color color into blue uh, sorry roughness into the invert node and then the invert node into the blues let's preview what this looks like this should look like a smitty file there we go so obviously the purple parts are the the bits that aren't reflective they're not shiny none of that so this is perfect so again on the SRS smitty file selected you want to bake the diffuse, same settings, hit bake, we'll be in a moment. So here we go, this is our smitty file. For some reason the blacks have gone to red. Again, we can change this in Photoshop. We'll do this again. We'll do this now actually, sorry. So let's save this image. 
has a smithy. Right, okay, so this is just for this part of the gun. The other parts, I'm guessing you already understand how the... You can just do the same thing over here, but because this, this gun here, color 2, this, is, this should be one image, but in color 2 I have multiple sections with multiple textures on them. So on the bolts, for example, which is inside color 2, it has its own gold node, its own metal, metal node here, whereas this one has a different node. So what you have to do basically is, with this one, as you can see I've got three image textures for color 3s, for the color 3 ones. Well, I should have named them color 3, but I didn't. So basically with this one, you want to do the same thing for each of the textures that are involved. So on this one, luckily I've only got two, which is the gold and the honeycomb part. So I need to get the same images in here. Like I have like this, for example, I have the color 2 smitty, the color 2 co, and the color 2 no HQ. So with this one as well, I also have it on the gold. So you basically do the same thing, but you make sure in the gold texture, you've got your color one checked and in here, you've got your color one checked. So then if you check through them both, it's highlighted and then you can bake the color. The same with the smitty. When you're, when you're making the smitty ones in here, you make sure smitty selected on both of these and then you select all the, all the textures here and bake like so. But if you, for example, if you didn't have this selected, if you have color selected on the gold and this one selected on Smitty, when you select all of these, it doesn't let you know. So what it will do when you hit bake is for the gold parts, it will connect them to, for this example, uh, the gold ones, it will bake to this texture. For the honeycomb, it will bake to this texture. So obviously the more, the more variation of textures on here, it can get a bit more tedious. But let's get into Photoshop. If you need more information on this, let me know in the comments anyway. I will explain this in another video because I'm gonna go over different I'm gonna ex exaggerate the amount of textures I have on here. But anyway, let's get let's get to Photoshop. Um let's go Photoshop. Not photo. Photoshop. And then we'll open them three images and we'll we'll correct them so they work with um with Daisy. I mean, they, they possibly would work like that with the blacks and the whites in the wrong areas and stuff. But just to be certain, because you want your smitty to be whites. Actually, to be fair, no. The smitty, it does have blacks and whites on it, but it's the, um, I forgot what it's called. No, ignore me, guys. It's the no HQ that we need to modify. The, the no HQ needs to have purple in the background, so... What do we call this one? Tutorial. So as you can see on the no HQ, it doesn't have that in the background. It's black, which won't work. So I'm going to use a color picker tool, which I don't know where it is in here. So I'm going to use the one I've got built into Windows. Oh, Control D. Uh, on one of the this color here, like the the purpley color, the base color. So I press Windows Shift C and I can get a color pick, a color picker there. Looks so light blue. So in layers, you want to create a new layer. Actually, no, we don't want to create a new layer like that. We want to select all the blacks first. Right click. Oh, by the way, I use this this tool here. Uh, it doesn't say what it's called, so I can't tell you. Magic Mon tool, there you go. So I select one of the black parts, right click, select similar. So it selects all the black in the image. And then what I do is I press Control J now. So it duplicates just all the black parts. Now go to blending options color overlay and then I paste in that color I just got there look like so I mean we have some sort of overlapping just there so I'm gonna do a, a stroke at one pixel with this color so size outside one pixel so there we go it covers all them black bits so there is a complete smitty file so I can save this again, export, quick XPNG, quick export as PNG, sorry. And then overlay the one that you just, like just edited. So there is that, that's how we've done it. And then this, the RV mats, again, search on my channel. If there's not a video up yet, there will be very soon on how to put all these into the image. And hopefully you like this video. If you did, hit the like button. 
and let me know in the comment sections what you think of this this new method or if anything I can change or anything you need details on let me know and again thank you to, to Eric J you're a superstar because I could not figure this out for the life of me because of Bohemia bits on the actual the wiki that they have it does not explain this so enjoy the uh, enjoy skinning your guns I don't know how to end the video I'm new to this enjoy I'll see you in the next video